Good morning everybody, my name is Bjorn and today my guest here at Coffee Break with our export is Beatrix Neuser, part of our project management team and responsible for Simicon industry. Good morning Beatrix. Good morning Bjorn. Today we have a topic we want to talk about the hydrofluoric acid and as you already know which is highly toxic and um, that's why it is not so easy to treat this in the wastewater and one more thing is we have discovered that there are are different limits especially Asia convert to Europe. So what are the limits bear tricks in Asia? Um, it's depend on which country. So uh, for Singapore we have lower than 10 ppm. For Malaysia it's lower than 5 ppm. Um, Philippines I think also lower than 10 ppm. That's only one no. <laughs> okay yeah. so and what what is the differentiation between Europe? Europe, um, so we have uh, more and more water available, more fresh water available, so we have a uh, limitation from lower than five, 50 ppm. 50? So, yeah, it's much zero. easier to treat it here. And what is the inlet concentration where you have to bring the value to? Um, it dep depends on the production. We have well, our plants around uh, 1000, 2000 ppm max, it's then it is a max uh, case. It's not All right. So it's around 1000 in common. Um, Interesting. HF. Yeah. Interesting. And how do we get this? these values. Let's say, let's talk about just Germany first. So to reach 50 ppm, what do we, what do, we do? So actually Germany is um, the normal, usual, ordinary um, um, process what we have. We are making um, precipitation with calcium um, chloride or with lime or with both. All right. Then we make a coagulation with iron chloride. And okay. after this, so we dosing polymer, going over the clarifier, fit the press for the sludge, clear okay. water treatment after. Done. So yeah. then we have reached the 50 ppm. Yeah. So, but what is the, I mean, if you want to reach the 5 ppm, less than 5, what is the differentiation there? Oh, 5 ppm is very, very um, complicated. For You have also the first stage uh, of HF treatment is always usual the same. So you are starting dosing with calcium chloride in this case. Okay. So we have a new process where we are um, having alumina absorber. Mm -hmm. That's completely different. So your um, first stage and the second stage will be a vessel with, uh, filled with uh, aluminium. Mm -hmm. And then um, you only need to be control the pH where it goes through and you can reach 5 um, ppb um, for, uh, with the aluminium. So absorber, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's, that's a differentiation. Yeah. All right, so that was a topic today, just quick and dirty with the, uh, with the coffee, with Beatrix Neuser. We talked about hydrofluoric acid and the differentiation between the limits we have in Asia and Europe. Take care, up to the next episode and goodbye. <laughs> Bye.